He's, he would have been just as special as he is now. It's a pull-up attempt from Aubrey Dawkins. Michigan product and the finger roll finish back the other way. Uh, right now, offensively in the NBA, uh, the things that you really concentrate on is the three-point shot, uh, the layup, and the free throw. Uh, those are the three things that you really have to be successful at. And the NBA today is basically man-to-man -man switch, high screen and roll, three-point shot, and layup. Yeah, analytics force the change, but what analytics does is it, it normalizes everything. And what I mean by normalizes is that uh, everyone plays the same way, and also the players and the personnel that he has. He'll use some of his old school coaching, you know, in terms of coming off down screen. And I thought Carlisle, when he was in Dallas, because of Luka, had to go away from a lot of the ways that he traditionally coached. Combined one for 19 between these two teams from three. There we go. Thank you so much. We needed that one, Mr. Taylor. After their opener that was against the Pacers was postponed due to health and safety protocol. It was something that the Wizards and a lot of teams battled during the regular season last year. You know, I got to ask Isaiah, are they getting the short end of the stick just being able to play four games as opposed to five like everyone else? No, I, I, I look at it this way. You know, anytime you get a chance to, to get out on the floor. Corner triple try. These guys are hot now, Isaiah. Every time Eddie Hughes and I played against each other, the place was sold out. Eddie Hughes played at Austin <laughs> High School. I played at St. Joe's. But Eddie Hughes to this day and his sister Cheryl had a game the same day. And, and, and Reggie sitting at the dinner table and his mom and dad said, how many points you scored? Reggie go, I got 35. You know, when you talk about the GOAT, you know, the, the career that she's had, and what she's been able to do high school, college-wise, winning-wise. Yeah, you can say tired legs, but you can also, again, give credit to the defense. You see every shot is being challenged with the exception of that. And when you and when you don't challenge shots, players make shots, making it really hard to score. And again, challenging shots. Offensive rebound, put back, and one for Bolden. Indiana foul number 23, Isaiah Jackson. His fifth person. If you want to make an impression as a big guy and you want to score, they they play different than everyone else. Isaiah Jackson, throw down. That's what they like about him. That is, those are the things that they, they love about him. Being able to defend, being able to have energy. Alley-oop time is showtime and the throwdown by Isaiah Todd. You know, the ability to, to run the floor and run it correctly. Todd runs the floor, kind of opened up the door for everyone. Um, had a, had a great career, made a big impact. Moved to New York, played the final two years at Redemption Christian Academy in Troy. Before I mentioned, he decided to go the junior college route and then the Oregon route and now getting his chance in his first taste in the NBA. Top of the key, three-point shot. You know, there are five scoring areas. Right now, most NBA teams only use two scoring areas. I'm not, you know, people will say, well, you, you, you're complaining about the three-point shot. No, I'm not complaining about it. I'm saying that people can't shoot it, are shooting it. They don't teach phonics anymore in school. Of course you would be okay with no homework. What, what, what student wouldn't be okay with no homework? Uh, of course, his father, you know, the great Wes Unsell, Louisville, and also Washington won championships. Fifth game for the Pacers here today. This is the fourth game for the Wizards. Ashley told you that they had to sacrifice a game, lost one because of COVID protocol for about three of their players. Wallace with a little crossover and a shake and bake at plus one. Between the legs, back between the legs, half Euro step. Back in his Cal days. Eight nothing run, matches the largest lead and a good hang time finish for Jones. Thompson has been the gold standard for him for forever. 
So whenever he wasn't satisfied with his game, he could just go watch Clay Thompson score 60 points on 12 dribbles. A 1978 draft. I thought Ashley Jackson throwing it down. I thought Ashley was going to ask you how you, you like the headband style. Oh, sure. I mean, everything was, you know, just perfect. Great block. Jackson, that's number seven. That ties the summer league record with seven, and it leads to that in the fast break. Four players, in case you're wondering, in NBA history have reached a real quadruple double. Terry Taylor with the post up. Listen at about 6-5, and the transition back the other way. Holmesley with the two. A lot of credit. Look at Jackson oh. driving to the basket. This is where we have to give them a, a lot of credit. You know, we, we talked about positionless basketball today. Well, that's how the game was played before they started organizing. And none of them really had a position. They played positionless basketball, just like the Pistons did. Yeah, some guy named uh, Joe Dumars and Isaiah Thomas, right? And, and don't forget Vinny Johnson. And Vinny Johnson, the microwave. <laughs> Playing with three guards under 6'3". Boom! Boom is right! That's what I'm talking about. Cash is Stanley in your face. 6'6", six, six. getting up. Showtime on the Pacers side. Goodwin with a good strong take. Chasing it down, it's Huff! Nice. <laughs> nice. Enter the game and do that! Reads the defender, takes the foul, reverse one hand slam. Goodwin alley you. A little too much mustard on that. Who was the player that had to make the two free throws? Uh, for Virginia to win that championship. Kyle Guy. Gist. Out to Todd for three. Yeah, all that is true, but I, I'll never for, forget Chuck Daly saying this to me. <laughs> What's that? He said, I... Tough another and one. Look. <laughs> Little people like us, <laughs> we, right? We want to post up. Exa the exactly. bigs want to shoot the three. Right. I know how it goes. I know how it goes. And, we, and when we get down underneath, we straight gangster. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when Buchanan yesterday made his layup and he flexed. Was with you? Muggsy Bowles. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he took it so personally. And I don't think many people had success posting him up. <laughs> and the Pacers sat some of their key players in this one, including Chris Duarte. Percet also out, Boatwright also out.